If you love me when I play my music, promise you will dance, dance for me, dance, dance for me. Well, my name is Rick Asani. I'm a singer, I'm a songwriter. I'm also a model sometimes, you know. <laughs> Imagine a situation where, let's say, a lion and a goat are friends. A lion and a goat. Now, a lion is carnivorous, right? So a lion is supposed to eat goats, eat meat. And a goat is a herbivore. So now, let's say the lion and the goat are friends now. And the lion goes and says, man, Go see, go see, go see how far. Man, I'm hungry. Yo. And then the goat will say, hey, eat grass now. When I'm hungry, I eat grass. And then the lion is like, but how? If the lion eats grass, he's going to die. You know? When people, let's just say, come at you, you know, it's, um, it's not only because you are against them. Sometimes it could just be that they are just, it, it's, it could be, they just, they just feel threatened or they feel a certain way. Trash people will say trash things about you. The wrong people will say the wrong things about you. Incredible people will say incredible things about you. We've had our ups and downs. Rick has had a very unproductive year one time like that. I think it was sometime after Gentleman. That one year, it was really difficult because I really needed a song. But man, he went off like no song. It was just one song we dropped in January, um, Love You Anyway. And then there was no song anymore. So that was really difficult, but people didn't, how will I put it? His, his fans are so loyal that they didn't um, take notes. I remember when Rick was on tour and it was one of his biggest moments and he called me and he was like, Man, I'm depressed, man. I don't think I can go on stage. And I'm like, what? Do you know the fuck you are? You are Rick Hassani. He was, he was in a very bad place. I mean, it's actually the saddest part of both our careers because, I mean, as at the time he was going through that, I was going through mine too, with two different people. So imagine having a friend who is dating someone and you are dating someone but the two different people that don't know themselves are the same. Crazy. So we both give these people names, right? We don't, it's almost like we don't remember them anymore, but we have names that we relate to them in our lives. Rick Ongeni Mangeni. Rick Unagogo. I'm sure there was an interview Rick was doing one time and he, said something about a gorilla. Funny, right? Good. So Gogo now, that is short form of gorilla. Yeah. So anytime we want to talk about the saddest part of our lives, our relationships, if I talk gorilla, Rick will understand that he don't both laugh. Then, what the, I can't, what the heaven call my own self? Yeah. My own Nana, the female version of gorilla, Gogotiana. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, people are allowed to be with whoever they want to be with. But what that particular scenario taught both of us was the people you bring into your lives actually have a great deal to do with your productivity as a creative, right? Because after a gentleman, Rick just couldn't put out a good song. I mean, I'm his best friend or one of his closest friends. so. I can say boldly that I'm proud of his art, but at the same time, I also know when he's not been as productive as he used to be. So that year was bad. If you're emotional, it can make you sort of lose focus or lose sight a bit of the things you should be focusing on, and that can affect you, your work, your money. I think Rick has come to a point where he knows that, okay, now, if only if I have shit good in my life, I need to stay focused with, with the work I'm doing, and I can deal with my emotional shit later, but stay focused on the job, and, you know, 
finish it up, get the money, get the bag, and then we know we can do it, love and all that later. The good thing is, we it was go, it's going to be very difficult to have people who are going who can't treat us like that anymore because we are in our no nonsense phase. That's why I said Brit knows who he is now because that situation just helped him find himself and it helped me find myself too. So we we have um, a very high expectation of people who we bring into our lives. It's always like it's almost like we can't take or we can't settle for less, you know. So after that, Rick is okay. I think after that, Rick dropped a very um, <laughs> when he was still getting through it. He dropped a song called "Love You Anyways." Um, I think that was when he was trying to be nice, but now he has a song that I was begging him not to put up. It's called Thunder Fire You. Now, some call him Mr. Gentleman, but most of us know him as Rick Hassani, one of the immediate fan favorites. Thunder Fire You even got its video released. I've been trying to keep my cool, but you know me, I don't like to pretend. The love I gave you was too perfect for you And you know I try to, try to make your dreams come true The first time I listened to that song The first thing I said to Rick was This is a hit Thunder fire you For all the lies you told me it hits not just because the song is sweet, not because it has good melodies and lyrics, but because it's relatable. If you if you listen to it, you would know that this is not fiction. This is this is real shit. And he actually told, even though he was telling his story, he told a lot of people's stories. If you watch his videos, if you go through his Instagram, as in. Rick Hazani can sing song Thunder Fire You. I beg I'm making a drop off. But the beautiful thing is, if you listen to the song, it's actually a very great song. But he had to make reference to that situation because it's something that he he it, it took him a lot to get out of it. But yeah, it's time to <clears throat> it's time to make money out of it. <laughs> I usually write love songs. I usually write songs to celebrate love and i feel like my fans will be happy to um to to have this song thunder fire you because it's it's you falling out of love and not having any any regrets for most of my life i mean till now really i've always pushed like a very um polite persona i mean i'm, I'm a very polite guy you know um so I feel like because of that, the kind of music that I've been making is very, oh, I love you, you're the best thing that's happened to me. Um, I've, uh, and that's all I've been giving my fans, so that's all they know. They haven't known how to say, you know what, you're a trash person, I'm a great person, you abused me or you treated me bad. You know, F you, let me go my way and you go your way. People feel like this is a bad, a bad thing to do. Some situations in your life require this kind of thing. It's not all the time that you'll be, okay, let me let me be on you know good terms with you, blah, blah, blah. There are some situations that you have to just, you know, um, curse it out of your life and just move, move on. Think about that moment. Think about that time in your life. It should be, oh yeah, I experienced that. It happens, life happens, we fucked up and we moved on. The same way there are people that have to love you for your success is the same way there are people that have to hate you, that have to dislike you for you to really get to where you're trying to go. He has moved past that now to the point where it has made him a lot stronger. I mean, one of the songs, I think one of the biggest songs of the album will be that song. And your friends. Mm.
In fact, let me tell you something. If he gives me a song to, to, to publish, I know the publisher I'm that deal. I wait like a week. Because Rick will call me and say, Omosami, I don't hear this mix no enter. <laughs> this mix no enter. I beg, you don't post them. I will say, eh. Now, what do they do for where? The thing they do, I don't even touch them.